Hello. In this video, let's have a look at how to um, join an Active Directory server okay, to the domain that already has an Active Directory. So it's basically adding an extra Active Directory server into that domain and then enabling replication, etc. Okay. So we've already installed Active Directory, our DNS server, okay, um, but we haven't done the configuration. Okay, if you want to know how to get to this, there's a previous video that we have, and that's definitely worth having a look at. Okay, so we basically click on Configuration. That brings us up to promote the server to a domain, and here we go. All right, that'll just load up in a minute. Okay, so we are basically adding a domain controller to an existing domain. The existing domain is Windows Ninja dot local, and we've set up our DNS to basically ensure that it's reaching our domain controller that's already active and thankfully it's found it okay so we basically do windows ninja backslash and then the administrator okay give it a password that should be there And this is founded thanks to our DNS server being set up. Okay. Basically, if you want to know, it's basically over here open network and sharing. Click on the network properties. Okay. And it's IPv4 properties. Make sure that you've set the DNS over here. It's as simple as that. We have given a static IP address because this will be a domain controller. Okay, so that's fine. All right. Cancel, 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 cancel. Select that. Click OK. Click Next. And then basically give a directory services restore mode password. Okay, can be anything. Um, we're keeping it simple. As I say, that's normal, that's fine. Okay, replicate from any domain controller or specify the domain controller where the replication will come from. You could have basically, if you were halfway across the world and your domain controller was on the other side of the world, rather than expensive traffic happening, you could have had a, shall we say, file stored and then basically use that to install. But in this case, we're just going to replicate it happily from our LANs domain controller. Okay. It says all checks passed. Click install. This will take a few minutes and then it will restart. Okay. Now it has restarted and basically we're in server manager. We've clicked on Active Directory Domain Services. Right click, go to Users and Computers. And you will notice that literally everything that was on the other domain controller has been replicated. In this instance, it was only a demo, so basically there wasn't that much. 
Okay, so it was a very quick kind of like transfer over. However, if you had like a thousand different organizational units, etc., etc., it would have taken a little bit longer time, but still not too much. Okay, so hopefully this has helped. Thank you for watching.